Now I would like to discuss about the types of non-verbal communication in details. First of all, let me talk about gestures. When you present a speech, you send two kinds of messages to your audience. While your voice transmits a verbal message, a vast amount of information is being visually conveyed by your appearance, your manner and your physical behavior. A gesture is a specific bodily movement that reinforces the verbal message or conveys a particular thought or emotion. Although gestures may be made with the head, shoulders or even the legs and feet, most are made with the hands and arms. Your hands can be a marvelous tool of communication when you speak. But many inexperienced speakers are unsure what to do with their hands. Some try to get them out of the way by putting them in their pockets or behind their backs. Others unconsciously relieve nervous tension by performing awkward distracting movements. A speaker's gestures can suggest very precise meaning to an audience. Gestures are probably the most evocative form of nonverbal communication a speaker can employ. No other kind of physical action can enhance your speeches in as many ways as gestures. Gestures strengthen the audience's understanding of your verbal message. Gestures convey your feelings and attitudes more clearly than what you are trying to say. Gestures also provide visual support when you address a large number of people and the entire audience may not see your eyes but your gestures. Next is posture. Posture refers to both the position of the body by itself and in relation to others. How you position your body when you speak communicates its own set of visual messages to an audience. It reflects your attitude telling your listeners whether you are confident, alert and in command of yourself and the speaking situation. Stand straight but not rigid. Balance your weight. Your knees should be straight but not locked. Relax your shoulders, but don't lean them, let them droop. Keep your chest up and your stomach in. Your head should be erect and your chin up, but not uncomfortably so. Your arms should hang naturally at your sides with your fingers slightly curled. If the position does not feel natural for you, try repositioning your feet slightly until your body feels in balance. Do not maintain the same position throughout a presentation. You can also move from one spot to another, but make sure to balance your body once your movement is concluded. Next is body movement so body movement changing your position or location during a speech it is the most visible physical action you as a speaker can perform when you move your entire body in a controlled purposeful manner during a speech you can benefit in three ways to begin with, body movement can support and reinforce what you want to say. And of course, motion will almost uh, always attract an audience's attention. It can also help to burn nervous energy and relieve physical tension. Next is eye contact. When you speak, you involve your listeners with your eyes making your presentation direct, personal and conversational. 
One way to break the communication bond is to fail to look at your audience. When you speak, your eyes also function as a control device. Simply by looking at the audience, you have an influence on your listeners' attentiveness and concentration. On the other hand, if you don't look at them, they won't look at you and attentiveness to your message will suffer. Make effective eye contact when you are communicating with a group of individuals. Your eyes need to move from one person to the next. Tone of voice is the range of pitch in the voice that may communicate something other than the words being spoken. So your tone in a story indicates a particular feeling. It can be joyful, serious, humorous, sad, threatening, formal, informal, pessimistic and optimistic your tone is going to reflect your mood next is facial expressions when you speak your face communicates your attitude your feelings and emotions more clearly than any other part of your body people can easily recognize Simply by observing a person's facial expressions, such as, you know, distinct feeling, uh, surprise, 